Recent polls in Virginia have shown what can only be described as a statistical tie between Trump and Harris. Rasmussen reports, known for their accuracy, gives Harris a mere six-point lead, a far cry from Biden's double-digit victory in 2020. This isn't just competitive. It's a sign of significant voter sentiment shift. Virginia has been sliding right for a while. Remember 2021? Republicans swept the state elections, a clear signal that the era of guaranteed Democratic wins was over. With figures like Glenn Youngkin showing the way, Virginia's not just turning, it's sprinting. Now, what does this mean for the 2024 electoral map? Let's be clear, if Trump flips Virginia, it would be a political earthquake. This isn't one of the seven traditional battleground states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, or Arizona. But if Virginia is in play, that means the entire electoral map shifts in Trump's favor. Think about it. If Trump wins Virginia, it's almost a certainty that he also wins in places like Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and even states like Arizona and Georgia that have become more competitive in recent years. Virginia could be the bellwether that tells us where the rest of the country is going. The electoral map would resemble a Red Sea with a few blue islands. Trump's path to 270 would not just be plausible. It'd be a landslide. This is a state that Joe Biden won by 10 points just four years ago. For it to be this close, today is huge. If Trump wins here, it would be a massive realignment, not just in Virginia, but in the entire South and parts of the Midwest. This isn't just about Trump winning Virginia. It's about what Virginia represents. It's a microcosm of America's battle of ideas. For Republicans, it's proof that our values, our beliefs in limited government, individual liberty, and traditional values are not just alive but thriving. Virginia could be the tipping point where America says enough is enough to progressive policies. Now let's talk about why Trump has a real shot at winning Virginia. First off, you've got the issues. The economy is struggling under Democratic leadership, inflation is still a problem, and working-class families are feeling the pinch. Meanwhile, crime rates are rising in urban areas, and voters are looking for law and order. On top of that, education is still a major issue in Virginia, and Trump's message of putting parents back in control resonates strongly here. Glenn Youngkin's victory in 2021 wasn't just about rejecting McAuliffe, it was a referendum on the left's overreach in education and governance. People in Virginia were fed up with being told by bureaucrats what was best for their kids. And guess what? That sentiment hasn't gone away. Trump's platform aligns perfectly with those concerns. His America First agenda speaks to the frustrations of voters who feel left behind by the elite political class. On the flip side, Kamala Harris isn't exactly exciting the Democratic base. She's a deeply unpopular candidate, even within her own party. Moderate voters don't trust her, and she lacks the ability to energize progressives. This makes her vulnerable in a state like Virginia, where Democrats can't afford any slippage if they want to win. Let's game this out a bit. If Trump wins Virginia, it changes everything. He would almost certainly carry other key battlegrounds like Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin, states he's already won once before. In fact, if Trump wins Virginia, we're looking at an electoral map where he could win over 300 electoral votes, blowing Harris and the Democrats out of the water. Remember, Virginia is supposed to be a solidly blue state. If it flips, it means Democrats are in real trouble, not just in Virginia, but nationwide. And honestly, it wouldn't even be the first time polls completely missed a Trump surge. We've seen this before, 2016, anyone. So where does this leave us? Virginia is shaping up to be one of the biggest surprises of the 2024 election. Trump is more competitive here than any Republican has been in years. And if he pulls off a win, it will have ripple effects across the entire country. The Democrats are clearly worried, and for good reason, they should be 
At the end of the day, this race is far from over. Virginia could be the state that tips the scales for Trump and the GOP in 2024. And if that happens, we'll be looking at one of the most stunning political comebacks in modern history. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Do you think Trump can win Virginia in 2024? Let's hear your thoughts.